Hello lovelies, I'm Paige. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you've been here before and welcome to this very special unboxing that I'm so happy to be finally able to share with all of you because this right here, this massive box, this is an order that uh, I placed or we placed uh, in July last year. So I've been waiting a long time to finally be able to touch this box. <laughs> and this is actually uh, my birthday present for last year. Um, from my partner. But that is uh, kind of not relevant really, because what is relevant today is that it is um, a new to me company. And it's a very special unboxing for several reasons. One reason being for its uh, present. Another is that I've waited so long to get it. And a third reason is that it's a new to me company. So, what company? Well, this is my first and probably only crafted the order for a good while. And I'm so, so happy that I was able to even make a crafted the order. As I said, it's part of uh, a birthday present for me last year which was what helped them make it happen. And the reason I, I put it like that is because craftedly they seem to be an absolutely awesome company, but they're also a tiny company, tiny American based company. And when you live in Norway, like I do, that means very expensive to order from, uh, at no fault uh, to the company, but uh, you know, we have import taxes and very high shipping and such. So. That's just the way it is right now. So basically, very, very happy. Finally have the Craftably order. And I need to put this out there. It, it's not Craftably's fault that this is uh, so late to getting to me. It, uh, in here is uh, more than one pre-order. And they just only recently finally got them um, because of shipping issues and whatnot from the manufacturer. So just putting that out there. We are not criticizing craftably for that. <laughs> but regardless, it's finally here and we are happy that it's here. I can't wait, wait to get into it. And another thing, this should most likely have the craftably tubes in it because we did order this in July. And back in July, they still sent uh, their kits and tubes as standard. And then it transitioned to sending out in boxes in August. Um, but the orders that were placed before a uh, set date in August would be shipped, still be shipped in tubes as standard. Uh, nowadays, you can still get the tubes, but they are no longer the standard packaging. Uh, they can do it for you for a little bit extra, um, which is just a way to, you know, manage costs and such. So. All that to say, there's probably tubes in here, and I can't take it any longer, so I'm going to open the box. Okay, I'm just opening it on one end here and hoping that it will be okay. I can see tubes, I can see tubes, okay. Oh, this is a uh, little. <laughs> as, as you can probably tell, I'm very happy. <laughs> I recently posted um, my giant toadstool cottage project unboxing on the channel, which was a happening for me because uh, that was my remaining unicorn, basically. And now this. So, we are off to a very good start diamond painting wise this year for me. But you want to know what I got, don't you? So, oh, look, 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 look. These are the tubes. I'm just gonna put everything out here. You can probably see a little bit what I got. There are four tubes in here and they're not the same color. We have two that are the same color. And then we have a purple one, which is my favorite color, incidentally. 
Um, ah, peach? Pink? I think this is pink. Pe peachy pink? <gasps> oh, okay. And they... Uh, <laughs> I need to calm down a bit. I'm just so excited and happy. Oh, there's a note in here as well. Oh, and there's... <clears throat> yes, here, here's the toolkits as well. I'm just gonna do this. Yes, that's it. That is it. Okay, I can just, if you're still here, first of all, thank you. And I'm, I'm afraid this isn't going to be the most organized unboxing because I am just so uh, excited. So, strap in and just hang on for the ride, I guess. <laughs> Uh, here are the toolkits. Look at those beautiful bags. Like burlap toolkits. I think maybe they have goodies in them. So if we are going to look at all of these. Just to check. And I'm of course going to go through at least one of them. Like thoroughly. Because this is a new to me company after all. And I am so happy. And purple seems to be their color. And that's also my color. So... Good times. I'm just going to take a moment to look at the note that was um, included and I'm not going to show it to you immediately because it's a handwritten note and I tend to just read them first just in case. I'm sure a lot of you have that same culture as well that uh, we don't show handwritten notes immediately. So adorable. I think I can read this. Oh. Um. I know this isn't like personalized to me, but it's still in handwriting, and it's just I. Uh, I am just. I just love this stuff. Okay. It says, "Howdy! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for your purchase. Thank you for supporting our small business." Thank you for your patience as we navigate obstacles. We hope you love everything and we love you. Craftably yours, Amy, a.k.a. Crafty Wife. Thank you for the handwritten note, Amy. And I completely understand that it's not been an easy time with the pre-orders and everything. So really, no worries. And thank you so much for the note. It was... Um, I'm going to say that. <laughs> really doesn't take a lot to get me in my feels at some time, but the, I think everyone is very happy that the orders are finally here. But enough of that. Let's uh, look at what I ordered and what's finally here. And I'm just going to say we are going to unbox one of these kits today and the three others I'm going to do separate unboxings. Otherwise we'll be here all day. But there is one of these that uh, I don't even know the rendering of. So we are going to look at that today. Um, and that is, I can start with that one just to not be a completely, complete utter tease. Oh, it's, oh, excuse me, I'm trying to, it's this one. It's the Wintery Dragonling um, by uh, Justin Beckett Griffith. And this is the last this is the reason why the order took so long, because this was a pre-order that arrived not too long ago. But I don't know the rendering of this, so we are going to look at this today. This is a square canvas. And yeah, we'll find out the rest together. But I also got three other canvases, as you can see. <laughs> and one of them is this one. It's Sunset Crossing. By Will Cormier. Oh, the lighting. My lighting is absolutely blah, but that's the way it is. Beautiful landscape with, uh, you can't really make it out. I might like put a picture in here uh, while I edit or something, but there's a uh, lighthouse, sunset, and a uh, um, shipwreck. So, love that, of course, since I got it. <laughs> oh. I am an excited mess and I'm not even sorry. 
And in this lovely purple tube, we have Storybook Dreams, and I can't remember the artist, unfortunately, but it's a girl riding a dragon into Yumi Land, it seems, and I am so excited to unbox this with you all in another video. Uh, and I think of my daughter when I see this. And I want to put it in her room. <laughs> oh, and lastly, lastly, we have this. This is The Language of Flowers 4 by Justin Beckett Griffiths again. Oh, <laughs> my lighting really is atrocious. But don't worry, I'm going to show you all of these probably in their separate videos. But those are the ones I got. I believe that uh, all of them, except for the Wintery Dragon Ling, which we are going to look at very soon, uh, are round kids. Just that. So happen to be. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we are going to look at the two kits and then we are going to unbox or untube the Victory Dragon Day. Um and I think Yeah, we're just gonna go ahead with the two kits. <laughs> Hello, I'm back with the toolkits. I've tried to fix the camera angle and the lighting a little bit and I don't think I can get it any better <laughs> than what we're working with right now so we're just gonna have to roll with it. But as I said, I'm going to um, we're going to look at the toolkits and if I see that they are very similar I will just look at one thoroughly and then we're brisk through the others. But I, as I showed you earlier, a lovely burlap bag in purple. And check out the purple. I am here for the purple, the level of purple. And, oh my goodness. Oh, look at this. We have two washes. And this is amazing because I just ran out of this very washi and I need more. So thank you, Craftably. That's spot on. And um, I'm going to wait a bit the goodies, the other goodies. No, I'm going to do it right now. <clears throat> Good thing I'm organized. But I showed you the washies. I'm going to show you the cover minder as well. I love that it, it comes in this little designated box. And it's a lovely flower. And as you can see, the magnets are not attached. So I'm not going to open it. But we have a lovely yellow flower. Um, so we are going to look at the goodies in all of the kits, toolkits today. Uh, we also have a branded thing of wax. We can take it out of the bag. <laughs> I do apologize for being so scattered, but honestly, I'm just a bit overexcited and happy. So as you can see, there's one, oh my goodness, there's one sheet of wax in here. And you might be able to make out that there's um, a piece of plastic on it. So remove that before you stab it with your pen. Branded thing of wax. And <clears throat> let's get into the toolkit. Uh, this. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. If I'm able to open it. Uh, struggle. Why? Why can't I? Why is it so difficult? Oh my gosh! Oh! Didn't notice. This says craftably. It says the kit contents there. And I'm really struggling to open this, so I'm sorry. I'm probably going to ruin it now. Oh! It helped to complain. Because <laughs> now it opened. Just like lavender purple tweezers. I love them. I love them. Um, oh my god. 
and this uh, Mosfa boat, but it's purple and sparkly. I am about to implode. This is so awesome. I really like purple. And there is a sparkly pen with, of course, a purple squishy. I recommend using this for comfort. It prevents your hand from cramping up. And included are three multi-placers, no less. So you get two four placers, actually. And, oh, excuse my n nasty nail, I'm sorry. Um, and a seven placer. <clears throat> yes, lovely. And last but not least, purple wax. I've never had purple wax before. I'm so excited. <laughs> it doesn't take a lot to make me happy sometimes. <laughs> but I'm so excited for the purple wax and all the purple sparkly goodness. This is a good day. <laughs> okay, so that is... That is the toolkit in detail. Let's look at the good days and our remaining three uh, toolkits. Yes, more heart washi. This is good because um, if you've been here before, you will know that I have taken it upon myself to celebrate love in February, which is the month we're in right now. So I'm going to use the heck out of this and also have this lovely floral pattern washi and speak oh sorry the bump here speaking of this speaking of a uh, purple and sparkly if I can open this excuse me for a second Look at this cover minder! Look at that dark purple little droplet! How amazing is that? And it looks like it actually has drills on its little cheeks there. I love this. I have a thing for tiny cover minders, so love, love, love. Oh, and if you are unfamiliar with what even is a cover minder, as you can see, uh, this has Two magnets so you put one magnet underneath your canvas and then you put when you peel the plastic back you put this on top of the plastic and they will like do this and it will help keep your plastic back so it's very handy dandy and I do recommend and I am in love with this little fellow on to the next got a Christmas washi and a really fun one with the lots of uh, circles and spots. Nice. And then we got a yellow macon. Very nice. Very nice. And then our final toolkit. What will the goodies be? We will see, we will see, we will see. Hmm. Okay. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay, okay. I got two thingies of wax. Got uh, no cover minder in this one. That's okay. And I got two matching cupcake washies. Yay! Okay, that is that. Let me just tidy up a bit. Okay, I'm back. I've tidied a bit, and so far we have established that this Crafty Blue Order finally arriving is a really big deal in my diamond painting life. Um, I've been thoroughly happy and excited with everything so far as we've uh, looked at the tubes and we have checked out the toolkits and I've showed you the four kits that was in my order 
So now for this last part of this video, we are going to finally unbox this gorgeous thing. Let me show you again. With better lighting this time. Wintery Dragonling by Jasmine Beckett Gif Griffith. And as I said, I don't even know the rendering of this one, so I'm extra curious about it. Which is why this will be the first kit I unboxed from this order. Okay, let's go. Oh, love that there's a screw top on this. There's the kit. So, <clears throat> I can tell you if you order one of these, it, as I said, it does a telescope so you can adjust it to your kit. I'm gonna use the heck out of this when we travel. Um, and comes with a screw top and a screw screw top and a strap for your shoulder, I presume, as well. So I'm so happy that I was able to get some of those. And here is how it comes packaged. It has a number. Oh, it has a number on it right here. And there's a dust bag, as you can see. So we are just going to open this and get into it. And of course I always, I always tear the dust bag. I don't know if you do that. I always seem to tear the dust bag. And this has been secured with a piece of tape. And so I'm just going to take care of that real quick. She said that she struggled. Oh my goodness, I have a sister right here. Et voila. And so, I can immediately, immediately say that this is like a felt uh, backing. It's soft, but not super soft. Seems like a very sturdy canvas. And I'm gonna pour out. The lovely jewels. Oh look! This isn't all of them, I think, but it's just such a tiny and cute little sausage. Okay. Mm, yes, that's another one. Oh, we have one rogue grill at least. Oh, I love that. So, before I show you the canvas. Let me just, oh, excuse me. So, this is really nice. The bags, they come with a image sticker and everything. Properly labeled and pre-bagged for you. And let's look at the color spread real quick. I'll do this. Yes, wintry indeed. And I can see I can see several ABs, so this this will be interesting. And at first glance, the drills do look nice. I can't remember if they do acrylics or resin, but let's take a closer look at these after the canvas because we need to look at the canvas. Oh goodness! Oh goodness! Okay, so this is a port glue canvas. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to roll it back, and you can do that with port glue. That, that um, port glue can take quite a beating. Don't recommend doing that with double-sided adhesive. And I'm not going to look as I roll it back, I promise. I'm going to stare into the garden. And I'm not going to look. And whoa, okay. We'll look at the sticker sheet and everything afterwards. Okay, I'm not gonna look. I'm not looking. Not looking, not looking, not looking. Okay. Ready? Are we ready? Because Oh, oh 
my. Okay. Here's her feet. You can't see anything. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna pick you up and let's look at her together. Okay, I am back and I opted for natural daylight to show off this canvas. Uh, we are in wide angle right now, so to be able to show you the whole thing. And uh, I have peeled back the plastic and put it back on so it would lay flat all nicely for us. And what do you think about the rendering? My first thought was, oh, that's kind of dark. But the more I look at it, the more I love it. And I'm so, so excited to see what it would be like with drills on. And it also looks very good through the camera, if I do say so. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna change to regular angle to give you a more like detailed tour of this canvas. And I'll, this is a new company, as I said, so I'm just gonna... <laughs> Words! I'm just gonna talk a bit about the details of the canvas and we'll take a closer look. At the rendering, at the symbol clarity, all that good stuff, you know. Okay, so see you soon. Okay, I am back. Let me just give you a quick tour of this lovely artwork. I am just falling absolutely in love with this. I love the wintry colors. I love our little dragon here. And check out her wings. I'm curious about the face because it does look a bit dark on the on the canvas, but we don't know anything until we put the drills down. And I love it regardless because this is yeah a special treat. Mm -hmm. So look at the candy cane here. Oh, look. Look at the tail. <laughs> look at the frills in her sleeve there. And look at the frost on her feet. Oh, I love it. Love it. Okay. So, <clears throat> let us take a look at the confetti versus color blocking situation on this thing. Um, and if you are unfamiliar, color blocking is what it sounds like. It's a block of one color. And we do have an example here for you. So this is all the same symbol and that means it's a color blocking section. It's not a huge one, but it is there. It is certainly there. And confetti, well her flat hair is more of a confetti situation. Lots of color changing. It gives you more detail, but it goes a bit slower. And this canvas seems to be a mix, but it leans towards confetti, I would say. So you have bits of color here, as you can see, splotches of color, and ooh, traveling, splotches of color, but mainly confetti. Confetti. Oh, I'm so excited. I am so excited. Yes, so definitely splotches of color blocking here as well. Uh, but a more confetti leaning canvas for you. And if you like the color blue, this one is definitely for you. <laughs> um, okay, so as far as details on the canvas, there's quite a bit of sparkle in it, which my camera may or may not be able to pick up right now. Um, skeleton poked edges to prevent fraying. Um, here we have the title and the artist and copyright means that the artist has given permission to for the use of their artwork and they're being compensated um though jasmine becky griffith as you can see this is a public domain picture so it is free to use and i'm not going to get up in craft the Blaze business i don't know if if they do compensate or not but it, this one is public domain so that is completely up to the company um but jasmine becky griffith She's being credited and everything is above board, so that is good. And then we have um, their social, their guarantee, all that good stuff. And 
this kit has a whopping 66 colors and we have four ABs. This is very exciting and uh, if you have diamond painted before, these symbols will look familiar to you, most likely. We have a mix of symbols and alpha and miracle things going on here. We've got a good look of the uh, legend here and the thumbnail again. And <laughs> size is in inches and I'm Norwegian so I, uh, <laughs> I stop the function when I say inches. <laughs> I work by centimeters, but it's 24 by 32 inches. So, I might have to do some math later. And then we have the logo, captively diamond painting, and, well, another legend here, uh, without a thumbnail this time. Yes, so it looks to be very good quality. We can even, it's a, quite a thick plastic, and good sticky. Yes, that is the canvas. Oh, it's beautiful. Mm, I might have to do this one next wintery season. I'm not going to have time this wintery season, but that's okay. Now I finally have it. Okay, so what's going to happen now is we're going to take a look at the drills again. And then we are going to go A-B hunting together. So, it is time to take a look at the drills, but I also, of course, need to show you this remaining stuff that comes with a cartridge kit. So you have this. This just has instructions of how to diamond paint and a bit of tips and tricks for you if you're new. So very handy. Also lets you know about the uh, oh, contents. <laughs> My brain is kind of fried, but that's okay. We're all happy here. So you have a logbook sticker. This entire thing is a sticker sticker sheet. <laughs> I sweat glitter. <laughs> Just cause stickers, so. Lots of stickers for you and your logbook sticker, as I said. It has the information for you, it has an image and start and finish date. And this, my friends, this I'm so happy to see. This is pre-cut stickers for you and they're quite big as well. So this is going to make kitting up so much easier. I'm so happy with that. So yay! Yes, so good stuff. Very happy to see pre-cut stickers. Let's look at the drills. So again, they come pre-bagged uh, and I do believe they are in numbered order for us. And the, this really nice sticker to label them if you store them separately. Okay, my friends, we are back with the drills, and uh, honestly, I don't dare to take them out of the drill sausage, because I'm not going to be able to rectify the mess I'll make, to be honest with you. So I'm trying to show you the color spread again, and I have picked out the A and Bs. Uh, the drill quality, oh, this is a very dark color. The drill quality does appear to be good, and it appears to me to be acrylic drills. And I can't really speak on the quality truly until I've worked on it. That's just the way it is with diamond painting. But I've heard good things and it does look good. So I think we'll be just fine. Um, as far as the ABs go, as I said, we have four ABs. We have this white, off white uh, warm white, I would say, uh, drill. And if you're unfamiliar, AB stands for Aurora Borealis, and it refers to the shimmering coat on the drills that uh, create a very nice highlighting effect on the canvas. We also have this blue. And you can see the shimmering coating on the drills again. Another blue, a bit more of a grayish, paler blue. 
And finally, what do we call this color? A purplish pinkish. Beautiful color, at least. Okay, so what's going to happen now? We are going to look for the placement of this on the canvas, and that would be the last part of this video. <laughs> Okay, we are back for the AB hand. I've done my best with the lighting situation and getting everything into frame. So I hope this will be useful for you. Um, it was either this or Glare City. So we'll try and work with this. Uh, as I said, there's four ABs and I've had a little look and uh, seen where we'll find them. Um, so I think we could start with the white one. This beauty, and not surprisingly, you will find the white AB wherever there's shimmering or frost happening, most likely. Of course, frost shimmers as well, so. Um, but to be more specific, um, we can find it here where the light hits on our foot. We'll also find it in our dragon friend, of course, uh, all the way here. And we'll find it a bit here. So there's a mixture of larger patches and just smattering or sprinkling here on a friend. Uh, but I think that has the potential to give up, give up, blah, 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 give up, <laughs> off a nice frosty effect. Goodness me, I am homesick uh, today, and I suspect that you might be able to tell that I'm not entirely. 100% and that's okay. And uh, furthermore, we'll find it here. Of course, in her wings we'll find a bit. Here in the frosty bits. We'll actually find uh, some in her face. And usually I am a bit skeptical of ABs in um, faces on diamond paintings. But this is a frosty, wintry, fairy situation. I think it might be okay. We'll see. That's of course a matter of preference anyway, so. Uh, but we'll find some in her hair as well, and are you even able to see where I'm pointing? Let me try and be more useful. Here, up here in the sky. So wherever you see frost happening, there's gonna be some twinkling. So I'll put this right on her forehead. Uh, our next AB is this darker blue. Oh, look at the beautiful colors though. I think this has the potential to be absolutely stunning. And this one... This one is actually found in our background mostly. It's of course uh, in her hair as well. I say of course because I think I found every single AB in her hair, so she is going to have one sparkly hair. Um, but this, um, let's see, I'll put it here, because up here there's entire swatches of this AB. So that's going to be a very interesting effect and I'm very curious to see how that turns out. Um, on this side as well, I'll show you. I think. I'll try. I'll try and show you. Very professional page, but you know. Um, it's this symbol, this kind of... What do we call that? Triangle thing? Well, as you can see, there's a lot of it. A lot of it in the background. And the symbol clarity on this canvas is very good. My camera is just not focusing right now. Just like me. <laughs> okay, uh, bad jokes aside, uh, quite a bit in the background. And uh, there's also... There's also a bit in her hair, I think. Yeah, there's a bit in her hair. Um, hair. And that is that for the darker blue, AB. Very curious to see the effect of the AB in the background there. At least, I think it's a background. Surely this is background. I'm not being completely dense, am I? 
this would be a background, right? So I'm excited to see it, and there's quite a generous amount of it, as I said. Moving on, we have this one. Our lighter, more grayish blue. And this one we will find um, in our uh, friend, dragon friend here, a little bit. Uh, again, it's the highlighting effect. We'll find it in her wings. And we'll find it in her hair. Um, and we'll find it a bit around the frosty areas again. So, where do we put this? I'll just put it here. And then finally, we have this smattering of... Um, this color that I couldn't name, the pinkish one. And this we'll find in her attire, in her dress or robe or whatever you want to call it. Just highlighting a bit here. And we'll also find it in her hair again. <laughs> so her hair is really gonna shimmer and shine. And I think, I think I'm just falling more and more and more in love with this one. I'll try and turn on the light again for you for our final bit of the video. Yeah, it, it's not very... As you can see, it's not ideal. <laughs> but okay, here we are and we have had the Momentous Craftably unboxing, probably my one and only at least this year. And look, look at her wings. Look how pretty she is. Oh my goodness we yes we have looked uh, at our tubes we have looked at the contents of the order and we've looked at the toolkits and finally we take we've taken a look at this lovely wintry dragonling by justin becky griffith and craftably and this will make a reappearance on my channel it's gonna be a little while but it will be definitely be featured later on so that concludes actually the video and I am I was probably a bit scattered as I said I am actually sick at the moment so I do I do apologize for that and I thank you so much for sticking with me uh, through this adventure and I am so excited to show you the other three canvases and if you want to know when I've uploaded those uh, last three unboxings um, I would suggest you subscribe if you haven't already and hit that notification bell because I am a tiny channel and YouTube will eat my videos if you don't basically. That's just how it works at the moment. So so if you're interested, uh, I would suggest you do that. And regardless, I thank you so much for watching. If you liked this somewhat chaotic, uh, very excited Crafty Blue unboxing, consider giving it a thumbs up. That really does help me and yeah let me know what you think and let me know if you've worked on craftedly if you had one of these pre-orders that took a while to get to us and regardless again thank you so much for watching and until next time i wish you well and happy crafting bye bye